so this is our last stop and we want to continue now so far we have this we want to draw mabati roof roof mabati and gata gata concrete so we delete this one i forgot to delete it i was supposed to just drag it not a copy of the same so i come to my first fruit first fruit and now we can delete this other thing we don't want them anymore because they just making uh, stuff to be dirty you don't want to have a dirty thing so when it comes to this type of roof you want to have a gutter here it's better to have a gutter here then you will have a gutter here then you will have a, a channel here more like a gutter yeah. so to do this gutter at this point and you know, at this point in time you know, um, i'm going to make it 500 mm for now so when the width of the gutter is going to be 500 mm usually with this type of roof the hidden type of roof uh, your gutter will depend the size of the gutter mostly will depend with where you're building if it's a place where it rains a lot you have a lot of rain then in let's say you have also a lot of trees around you want to have a wide gutter some people build even to up to one meter 1.2 900 uh, but the wider the gutter the better because now if it is a place where you have a lot of leaves falling on the gutter the leaves will fall and over time they tend to block the gutter or the outlet or stuff but and then water will not be going through and when it rains a lot water starts flowing back on the roof and again when it comes to this type of a roof a uh, flat roof that is not flat roof but hidden roof you usually have a very small angle of uh, slanting you want to have a very small angle of, of slanting so that you don't have to build longer parapet walls you will limit the height of the parapet walls then you limit the angle of slanting so that it's very small in that case it means if you are in a place where it rains a lot and also it tends to be windy a lot when it rains <coughs> it means that you're going to have high chances of having water to flow back and leak in the house so to counter that in case you have that issue you want to if you are using the type of sheets that you're going to connect together then you're going to increase the angle of uh, i mean not the angle but that that distance of uh, the distance of overlap the overlapping distance between sheets is going to be high when the overlapping distance is high you limit you limit you will be able to counter the effects that is caused by the rain when you have a lot of wind around but for some people what they prefer for this is you just go to you you can go to the factory then you get customized sheets instead of buying this um, uh, the normal sheets that you have two meter three meter and 2.5 you can just get a customized one or some people have seen they go to the extent of laying uh, uh what do we call a plain sheet first you lay a plain sheet then you place the other one on the top but that way it can be a little expensive but again it's the best way when you lay a plain sheet and then you lay your normal type of sheets on the top and again some people tend to make mistakes of buying cheap sheets for this because you're hiding it you say let me just go and buy uh, the lowest quality like when it comes to the gauges of the roof you're going to buy the lowest gauge which is another mistake for this type of roof you also want to buy very quality stuff so that you are able to counter these effects because it's going to go under some crazy 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 weather conditions so you need to take off that and now let's draw the gutter the gutter gutter concrete gutter that is it's pretty easy so i said i'm going to draw mine will be 500 mm so this is where my wall is and let me change the line tool to this so i want it to be 500 so can we do let's do 550 instead and we do this way okay so so we're just going to draw a slab here let me go to the slab tool and we select it here we do up to here okay 
then uh, if, if i show you in 3d you will be able to see a slab here so the slab is um so you it's it's up to you to do the adjustment but i want it to be on top of these walls which will be three three let's do 125 which will be so let's do again 125 here okay so that is it is on the top of that and now we can let's change the texture a little bit i'm just going to use a normal one from here let me, let me do concrete 02 and we do that okay then i can come and draw a wall i'm going to draw a wall masonry but of course if you're constructing it you can use any other trick that you and you find to be cool according to you so 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 let me do it here and i click on it and i want it to be 125 it can be 125 or 100 or 150 so if if you're going to build it with masonry but you can just build it with concrete so a little section but if you're going to build it with manus masonry you're going to make sure that you would do waterproof and the best waterproof is that of dr fix not an advertisement of course just telling you the truth so you can use the dr fix dr fix dr fix it dr fix it waterproof is usually good for this kind of stuff than this pink one there's another one this common one they usually pink in color man don't go buy those ones they are not good okay don't go and buy the pink ones they're not good so you do 2700 you just want to have a very small height it let me leave it there first so you, of course you're going to even this one you're going to do it with uh you're going to do it with uh with waterproof water waterproof cement additive even here you're going to apply waterproof and the best waterproof cement that you want to use is the one from dr fix it don't use this other one there's this other one they sell in kenya at 125 or 140 they usually pink or reddish or sometimes they are like maroon don't use those ones they will just mess you up later on it will start leaking so we come to this again so i had like i said i had stuff to do with repetition this one if you want you can reduce the thickness if you want to save the cost the width because it is going to cover small area so you can reduce to maybe 350 but for now let's just do 550 because for me i'm making a tutorial for you and as i make a tutorial for you i'm not looking at things to do with saving cost or anything i'm just trying to have fun so yeah but of course if you're implementing it on the ground it is wise to consider tricks that you can use to save cost so i've drawn a slab in this one and again we're just going to do the other settings do 125 and we do 125 and we do concrete okay and then we can draw also we can either draw or we can just copy this on control shift plus d so sometimes it's up to you to decide whether you want to draw or you want to copy control shift plus d copy copy then you can shorten it i think drawing it will have been simpler then we come to here here you are supposed to do again so here i feel like it's pretty small so i'm going to do a very small one let's use this line instead we click on this line you remember it yes you do i do i don't i do i don't so i made this tutorial to be longer for no reason actually sometimes she just have fun anyways so this one is kind of small so we're going to reduce it to let's do 250 let's do 300 300 300 300 300, 300. it can be even smaller to 50 i think 300 is almost one feet or one foot 
this one could be smaller and there is a slab which are drawn here so i'm just going to play around with it let me go first to ground through and i don't need the ground flow so let me draw here the slab first will magic one to work here it works okay so i just clicked and drew a slab and pressing ctrl t then like we said this one we want it to be no let's leave it first let's let's i want you to select to come here then you right click and uh, show trace show trace reference then you go to ground floor so that way i can be able to see what is on the first floor on ground floor yeah, yeah then now if i select the slab that we have here i can be able to do adjustment of nodes to here then this one i want it to be here then this one i want it to be here yeah this one here and this one we create a new node here and we return it here so, so. So that way now if we go to the 3D we have a better perspective so we can be able to see that uh, so we are supposed to close it here so but as of now as what you can be able to see I cannot click on this control T and do switch on this and maybe i make it 75 or 125 okay but i change its location to minus is it minus 125 this one was at hey, i don't remember where this one was i think it was at 2650 so it, this one needs to be somewhere below that so let's do minus 500 and see yeah it's okay so that way this will collect water here and water will we can have a drain pipe somewhere here that drains the water even we do not need this one uh -huh. i see i see i see now i'm wise now i can see now i'm wise now so here we can have it here let this one just drain the water here and yeah even here we don't need this one was i blind or what it drains water here then this drains here and uh, of course this means that when you're building this one you will have to slant it in you will have to slant it later you slant it so that it drains water here then like i said we're supposed to close this one here so let's do it so we go to so now i can click here and show trace reference so that i don't want to see trace reference here i want to see them on the first row but i want to draw a very small walk wall here starting here and it is center ending here okay then i want to see its location it is this one control t and we want it to be minus 300 is it minus 300 no no let's do minus 400 then we can increase here minus 700 of course this one you can shorten from here if i click on it let me bring it to there to there then we want to do this so that we light disappears and to click on it again ctrl t we switch off this okay 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 so we are done so we are done with gutters and Oh, my fucker, my fucker, my fucker, my fucker, my fucker, my fucker, my fucker. So here, 
What are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to say to them? What are we supposed to do to them? So here we're supposed to do some adjustments. So let me click on it and we're going to do 125. Let's do zero. And here, let's do minus. to be pretty small but again the issue is i want to lower this one a little bit because you remember the roof for this side will be low and i think even it's high still man i see some condo here and again i want a high ceiling for the house but let me lower to it it kidogo kidogo by 125 by minus 125 but when we draw the roof is when we will see whether we can raise it higher helico, or whether it can remain that way the essence is like for me when I'm doing a design I want my client to have a high ceiling when your client has a high ceiling it gives them a lot of uh, like when you're designing the ceiling or when you're building the ceiling you will have like more room to do more things when with a high ceiling than with a shorter one minus 125 let's just do minus 7 150 okay so we're going to end it there then when we come back we draw the roof that will be a quicker one and see you in the next one